Hello, this is Dr. Kay Sweetser from San Diego State University, and I want to talk to my JMS 585 students about the infographic project that you will be working on this semester. You are required to work in small groups, no more than four people per group, and come up with a case study infographic about a popular public relations event issue or case study in the past 12 months. And so um, I will actually look to see when did this case study occur uh, and it has to be within the past 12 months. What I want you to do is tease through this case study and evaluate it having the tools that you have gained over your entire JMS experience and evaluate whether um, what the practitioners in the case um, did was correct, um, what they could have improved, who their target audiences were, uh, all types of areas of evaluation. Um, I also want you to use the language of public relations and I want you to make recommendations, generalized recommendations, for future public relations practitioners who may find themselves in some sort of a similar incident. And so um, how can you take what you found from that case study and generalize it to practice as a larger whole? Um, I definitely want you to incorporate public relations theory as a part of this and so make sure that you're mentioning theory. As you lay out this case study um, it will become an infographic you can use any infographic um, creation tool that that there is out there that's canva um, pictochart or pictograph pick to whoever um, or you can just create the look yourself if you're using a um, infographic tool that's online like canva chances are your infographic is going to look a little bit better um, I will grade not only your presentation of the secondary data that you incorporate as a part of this, um, but your layout and how well your layout matches the branding of the particular case. So if it's a Coca-Cola case study, then I might want to see your case study be you know, red and white and maybe use the Coca-Cola font on some of the larger headers, etc. Um, so really think about how you can connect your case study visually to the brand and to the case itself. Um, as you go in and you're uh, describing this, of course, um, in the requirements section, I'm asking you to define the problem or the business challenge, to discuss the history of the client, um, the event or issue, and describe the process that the practitioners used within the case, whether what they did was right or wrong. Um, I want you to assess the case and apply public relations theory, like I mentioned, and um, describe uh, the solution and create other types of data-driven recommendations that can be generalized. Um, you will later, when you turn this in, um, be uh, presenting your case study in an extemporaneous um, five-minute presentation where the case study is on the screen behind you and the entire team is telling us what happened in the case study and pointing out specific things within the case study that might be um, interesting or important. Um, and so please make sure that you look at the handout that's on Blackboard for the tips, for the technical details, for the information on how to turn it in. Um, and then I do have available um, the previous semester's work. Of course, if you do look at a previous semester case study, then you have no idea what grade that particular team got. And so uh, do so with caution. Uh, I'm sure this is going to be a fantastic, creative, fun, energizing project for you. It's my desire to not only apply your public relations skills as you do this, um, but also then come back and have something that you can use in your portfolio as you go off into the real world and get a job. So good luck with your case study. I can't wait to see them. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.